Oh yeah, it's Magic 30 time. What's up all you price sensitive little bitches? It's time to go ahead and open a pack of Magic 30. That's right. So with all the controversy that's been going on with this pack, I just had to get one and open it on the channel because I know that you guys would love that so much, right? Like everybody in the community is so hyped and just ready to see these things opened and you know, uh, let's just go ahead and see what this pack has in store for us today. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this special wrapping from Wizards of the Coast this time around. Oh my god. What is this? Uh, let's see. Uh, oh. Oh man, guys. This is... Oh, man. That is actually how much the pack costs. I guess it's just trash, so we'll just throw that aside. Alright, so we're gonna slow roll this, you guys, and really try to enjoy this one pack from Wizards of the Coast to celebrate the 30 years that we've been collecting and playing Magic, so... Our first card here from the 30th anniversary set is a f***ing grizzly bears. I mean, hell yes. Who doesn't love grizzly bears? This is going to go perfect in my bearscape deck. You mark my words. Going straight into the bearscape deck. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's right. So don't be fooled by the black border and the 30th anniversary like logo and stuff. These are definitely not real cards. And Wizards has denoted that on the back of the card. Let's check it out. Okay, yeah, see, not real. Oh man, they even put like a personal message on there for us. Dang, guys. <laughs> How thoughtful. Alright, let's go ahead and see our next card. Oh, up next we've got a Plains. What? Just a regular old Plains. It has the beautiful 30th edition stamping on it, but, you know, I think I have like a thousand revised Plains, but this is definitely not one of those. It's so special. Oh my god, an island? What? <laughs> Another freaking land card. Oh my god, they're so thoughtful. We just need a bunch of fake lands. You know, who who can ever just be depressed when you get an island for $15? Oh, look at this. Okay, so our next card is a Drudge Skeletons. I mean, it's not like you can get one of these for what, like five cents, right guys? We've got to just sit here and admire the beautiful original artwork on this 30th edition reprint. Totally. Oh. Um, what the fuck? What the hell is this? Wait a minute, this isn't supposed to be in here. I was told that my sensitive eyes would be protected from this card entirely. What are these? What is this crap? Little sensor bars? Oh my god. This must be like the prototype version of the card before somebody got to it in the boardroom and said that it needed to be removed. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like this version better and god. Since it's like a one of one probably, it's probably worth, I don't know, $30,000 or something for the 30th anniversary. Man, I gotta send this shit to PSA immediately. Get this slabbed, get this graded and sold on the secondary market for all those thirsty customers. Oh god, how do we top that, you guys? Oh, that's how we top it. A mountain. You need that in order to cast Earthbind, right? So, yeah, they hooked us up with another $15 basic land. Again, I mean, like, there's hundreds of thousands of the white border version, but who wants that when you can get this beautiful 30th edition stamped version? Oh my god, actually, you guys, I'm really happy to have that card. That's one of my favorite cards from Alpha and Beta. Look at that beautiful artwork and everything. Not like you can find these anywhere, right? They're super rare. I don't think they were even, like, reprinted in 4th or 5th edition or any of that stuff. I don't think you can get them. Uh, oh yes, wall of wood. My day wouldn't be complete without a wall of wood. I'm going to put that in my bearscape deck too. Oh my god, right along with those grizzly bears, all the bears are going to love the wall of wood. I sense a theme with this pack. Oh my god, a swamp. Oh man, they're so thoughtful. Four basic lands. Holy sh**. That's $60 worth of basic lands. What a good value. I think we're only missing one land, right guys? What is it, the forest? Yeah, can we get a forest? I don't know. We'll see if we get that lucky. Here's a Prodigal Sorcerer, another fan favorite. My god, what a cool card. Again, super, super rare. They only ever printed like half of this version ever. So, you yeah, know, those are... Can't find them on the market anywhere. What a good opportunity to swoop in and get it. Oh god, it's time for the uncommons. Oh, what can we get, you guys? So Cursed Land. Cursed Land deals one damage to target Land's controller during his or her upkeep. Oh my god, the power. The power level. Four mana. Two colorless, two black. 
oh, oh, right, you can't even play this particular version in your commander deck, so don't even think about running that super powerful broken card. Got a little golem action up in here, you know. So much power, so much just raw freaking power that there's no abilities. Cost six mana, and it's a four six artifact creature. My god, you're missing out that you can't play that in commander. Oh, oh man, another personal favorite for the bearscape deck the throne of bone. You gotta sit upon the throne of bone when you open a magic 30 pack, because that's all that you're gonna get. This guy is sitting on such a huge bone, definitely. Bearscape all the way. And then what do we got? Oh my god, it's Deathlace. This is our rare? This is our rare. What the f***? What the f***? I've always wanted a Deathlace. Oh my god, I'm so happy to finally get one. Super rare freaking card. Oh my god, $250? $280 or whatever after tax for this pack, and I finally got a Deathlace. Oh... PSA, PSA all the way, oh god, oh wait, there's still more guys, there's still more, that means we get a chance in the alternate art frame. Wow. Oh, a Mox Jet, oh my god, wait, this is a special edition Mox Jet, look, it says, tap to add one black hole to your wallet, what, what, that's not what the Mox Jet says. That's definitely... Who who altered this at Wizards? It's one of those one-of-one one sketches. Some artist must have been altering it. But you know what? Since it is a one-of-one one sketch, it's got to be worth, like, I don't know, thirty-five, seven thousand dollars $7,000 or some shit like that, you know? Oh, that's the meal ticket right there. That is getting slabbed. That is PSA 10 all the way. Look. <laughs> God, the craftsmanship, the fine artistic capabilities. Oh, what a good pull. Oh, and here's our last card, you guys. Look. Oh, my God. That's so cool. They took, like, just like a regular old, what was that? Holy Strength or something from freaking Beta, and they turned it into a 1-1 one, one Flying Spirit token with a beautiful little 30th logo on it, too. Oh, man. It's not like you could do that with some of those jank common cards yourself and just make your own spirit token out of the old card. God, what a cool product, you guys. I don't know. I don't know what all the hate is about. You know, I just got to be honest and be on record. I just don't know what all the hate is about. This is a wonderful product. It's super rare. It's going to be super desired by a bunch of people because, you know, it didn't it didn't offend anyone. It didn't leave a horrible taste in people's mouth, unlike the Throne of Bone. It's just, you know, or all the censorship and the cards. I mean, this is not... There's nothing to, you know, be negative about, you guys. I mean, where else are you going to get a Mox Jet in a modern booster pack? How else could you actually hold a real magic card? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> With a Mox Jet, like, written on it. Where else could you do that? Unless you tried to, I don't know, make it yourself with a Sharpie marker. God, who the hell would do something stupid like that? Man, this product just, it fulfills all the needs that the market could ever want. So stop hating, you damn plebs. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed that video, please do give it a thumbs up. Definitely, uh, you know, let me know. Are you going to get a Magic 30 pack? At this point, they're already sold out. So you're going to have to pay even more on the secondary market if you want to actually open one. But, you know, it could be worth it. It could be worth it. You could, you know, get as lucky or luckier than I did. And, uh, you know, that would be awesome. So, <laughs> all right. Thanks for coming by and checking out the video. Hope to see you soon for another one in the near future. Take care, guys.